Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can change your location using a VPN. Now there are many reasons why you might want to use a VPN to change your location and not any other tool. And that's because a VPN is going to be able to give you the ability to stream specific services that you don't have access to. So if we're talking about streaming platforms like different Amazon Prime video libraries or different Hulu or Netflix or Disney libraries, you'll be able to access them using a reliable VPN. Now, another reason to change your IP address is to stay private. So if you don't want your government, ISP, or anybody else to know what you're doing online, using a VPN is typically one of the best choices to do that. Another reason is to get access to services that you don't have access to. Could be an online market, could be just a specific website, or it could be your bank account. So if you're abroad, you probably don't want to log into your bank account using a foreign IP address. So basically what you want to do is connect to a local server using a VPN, and you should be able to access your bank account without any trouble. Okay, so let's go ahead and demonstrate how this works. As you can tell, it says on my IP finder here that I'm in New York because I'm connected to the New York server with ExpressVPN. I'll talk about these VPNs, by the way, in just a little bit. But if you're interested in any of these VPNs, or if you want to go straight to the reviews or pricing or discounts, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. So the way this works is once you install or download any of these VPNs, you'll have the interface here, and it's very simple. Let's say you're on Nord, you can just go through the map or bring up the list in Surfshark and just select one of the locations. Or if you'd like to use ExpressVPN, because, well, it's basically the easiest to use, let's just go to Canada and connect to Toronto. I can click and then turn on the on and off button here, or I can just double click the server and that's basically it. So to double check that you are indeed connected to a different location, you can check any IP finder and it'll say that you're there if the VPN is indeed properly on and it is working and functioning. So that's basically it. So now as a result of connecting to the Canadian server, I have access to the Canadian Netflix library, Canadian Amazon Prime, or any other Canada exclusive service or website. I can access it knowing that my data will still be protected by the VPN that I'm using here. Because essentially, that's what a VPN does. A VPN will route your connection through a secure server that is owned by the VPN provider. So you're basically paying a fee to rent a little bit of space from that server so you can get access to all kinds of content from all over the world. Now to keep it as brief as possible, I would say ExpressVPN is your go-to if you're looking for a very reliable and consistent VPN that's incredibly easy to use. You do have over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, and 105 is a lot. So if that's something you're looking for, because you're looking to, you know, access all kinds of content, then Express is a great choice. It's also just a very reliable and consistent VPN when it comes to streaming and torrenting. And it arguably has the best privacy policy. So when it comes to using a VPN for crypto or for banking, or for any kind of sensitive information involving financial information, I use ExpressVPN. But this is my preference based on the past three or four years of using these three VPNs. Now, that doesn't mean that Nord is a bad VPN. In fact, Nord is the best well-rounded VPN that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price. So bonus features like threat protection, which acts like a little bit of a mini antivirus, as well as an ad and malware blocker. And you have MeshNet, which is basically safe remote access over the encrypted network of Nord VPN. So you'll be able to share files safely with people of your choosing over the safe network of Nord VPN. This is the cool thing about MeshNet. So it just makes remote access and data transfer very easy and you have Dark Web Monitor, which will keep an eye out for leaked data that's linked to your personal information. They have over 6,200 servers in 111 countries, so that's the most number of countries offered by these VPNs, and quite a lot of servers too. But for most people, the server count isn't really gonna make a difference. I mean, once server numbers go past 1,000 or two, it doesn't really matter that much anymore. That's plenty for everybody. Now finally, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the premium features that you get with more expensive VPNs like Express or Nord, and you just want something that works really well, and you'll be able to share it around with as many friends and family members as you'd like, then Surfshark is definitely a great choice because it will allow for unlimited simultaneous connections unlike NordVPN's six device limit and ExpressVPN's eight device limit. So if you need more than six or eight devices, then you can definitely